I'm dealing with a little bit of allergies this morning, but that's not going to stop me from bringing you my review for Save Yourselves. Now, I'm going to be honest. I was really excited when I got the description for this movie. Let me read it to you. A young Brooklyn couple heads to an upstate cabin to unplug from their phones and reconnect with each other. Blissfully unaware of their surroundings, they are left to their own devices as the planet falls under attack. I knew immediately this was going to be some sort of fun alien apocalypse type thing. And if you know me, you know I'm into that. In indie movies, sure, but that doesn't bother me. I have no problem with, with um, movies that have you know low budgets. Usually they're some of my favorites, in all honesty. So I was excited for this. And, and then I just wasn't. Uh, let's get into my review of Save Yourself. Hey, it's Tessa from Mama's Geeky here. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. All right, guys, at the beginning of this movie, we have this couple that's clearly very attached to their devices. They even stop like a makeout session to pick up their phones at one point. So they realize they need to get away and unplug and just enjoy each other's company for a week to reconnect. Cool. Totally get it. Absolutely love it. Fantastic. All right. Get the point, right? Everybody's super connected to social media. Everybody's super connected to their technology. I understand that. That is not where I have the problem. The problem is they go away and it takes a solid 40 minutes for the first alien creature to show up, really, right? So the whole thing is they're away. They have their phones turned off, so they don't know when their whole families and friends are calling them to say, hey, the planet's being taken over by these, like, puffy creatures, uh, the other thing I wasn't a giant fan of is I'm into blood and gore and we have like almost none of that this whole movie. These aliens are literally murdering, murdering people with their tongues, which could be super crazy and cool. And you're like barely getting any blood and like they're sort of cute and you don't really get like why or how they got there and anything like that. It never gets explained, which to me is kind of meh. I mean, by the time you get into the action, which is about an hour in uh, for this hour and a half long movie, I was over it. You know, I was like, I'm, I'm not even, I don't even care anymore, right? Like, let's just end this thing. I thought about turning it off several times. I would never do that. I want to watch the whole thing uh, to give you guys an honest review, but I thought about it and I thought about it more than once and that's not a good thing. Now, I'm going to tell you, honestly, the two lead actors are phenomenal. They're great. They're awesome at their characters. They're so good in this. But it's just the writing and the and the plot and the the whole thing was just really annoying, to be perfectly honest with you. By the time I got to the end, I was like, where's the big reveal? I'm waiting for something huge to happen. And then what does happen is like, eh, okay, so? That's kind of how I felt. I was like, so what? Like, what's going to happen with these characters? Like, I want to know more. It felt like a weird ending spot. Really weird ending spot. I, I don't know. I just wasn't a giant fan. I wanted to be. I really, really, truly wanted to enjoy this movie. I love stuff like this. But I felt like there sh just should have been more. More action. More gore. The alien creature should have been brought in sooner. We should have gotten why. Something should have happened with these guys. There's several things that they never pick up on. I mean, at one point they're trying to escape and they're driving in a car and they run over a body. And they just like show the legs of the body. And you're like... Okay, well, who was it? I mean, you can kind of assume who it was, but it was never proven. They didn't show a face or anything, which it's like, eh. And it just, I don't know. It was just, and they never brought that back up. And that was like the end of that. So, and they find this baby and they just take the baby with them. I don't know. It just seemed, it could have been so good. It had such great potential, especially with the casting like this. And it just really fell flat for me, unfortunately. Um, if you guys have seen it by the time you get to uh, this review, let me know what you thought down below. I hope you liked it. I think there's going to be a group of people who really enjoy this movie. It just wasn't for me, unfortunately. Uh, you can see it in select theaters October 2nd, which is tomorrow. And then it will also be out on digital Blu-ray and DVD on October 6th. So pick it up and give it a try. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, or let me know, if you, is this something you still see? I just, I can't recommend it because I was completely bored and by the time anything started, I was over it and I didn't care anymore. Unfortunately, it really stinks because I really, I wanted to like it because I love this kind of stuff, but it just, compared to stuff I've seen lately, it just really was, it was not, not for me. Um, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. You don't want to miss out on more videos like this one. And of course, you can always follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at Mama's Geeky over there. M-A-M-A-S-G-E-E-K-Y. Thanks, guys.